walkers were a lot of fun to work on because they were big mechanical beasts. And it was a pleasure sometimes to work on just big machinery rather than just voices. And we knew the walkers were big and they were heavy and they were lumbering about. And because they were animated, they had a certain rhythmic walk to them. And so the objective was to come up with a sound for the walkers to give them a real sense of mass and weight. After all, they were miniatures and they were being animated. And one of the things about one of the drawbacks of animation uh, is that it's hard to produce a, a sense of mass in an object. You know, if you want something to seem like it's many tons or the size of a building, it's, it, it takes particularly good animation in order to create that sense of weight. But we can help that along a great deal with the proper sound. So the walker was made up of different elements. It had motors, and it had metal clunks, and it had a weapon sound. The principal sound of a foot stomping along, this very big metallic clang, with kind of a rattle and a wrinkle to it, was the sound of a metal shearing machine, which is a big stamping machine in the factory, which has rolls of uh, metal come out of the conveyor belt that just cuts them off into pieces. Cuts it, it's like a big uh, chopping block for iron and steel. And uh, Randy Tom, one of the fellows working with me at that time, he went out and recorded some of these metal shearing machines for me and brought the recordings in. I picked parts of the recordings that I liked and made them into the, a rhythmic walk cycle. But in addition to just the metal shearing machine clanging along, I needed a, some big metallic squeaking sounds, kind of like the knee joint squeaking all the time. Every time it would lift its leg, there'd be a big sort of a moaning sound. And that I achieved by uh, playing with the dumpster door, uh, a dumpster that was dropped off at my house one day filled in the street to be filled with trash. I'd go out and throw the trash in it, and I'd open the lid, and it made this wonderful sound because it hadn't been oiled in its entire life. And so that dumpster became a major part of the walker as well.